Well, howdy guys, welcome back. Time for another episode of Imperial Jedi, and uh, let's just, yeah, really just jump into it. I've got um, quite a lot of things I want to implement in our new area, and uh, before we jump in, I actually just want to show you guys a couple things I've been doing uh, just off camera. So I was just tinkering around uh, with the lanes and um, just kind of like the timing of the lights and stuff for um, for over here. So what I did is I just kind of changed some stuff to make it wider, some stuff to make it a little bit more narrow, all in an effort to uh, get rid of the backlog that was kind of forming on the highway here. So, I mean, so far, mission accomplished. I just think we've really only just bought ourselves a little bit more time. You can kind of see if I put it on three speed, things do flow a little bit faster here now. So I just kind of changed that little squiggle coming in, kind of gave a little bit more room for the uh, cars to back up. So made this wider, made this skinnier. I mean, so flow throughs is a little bit better. But I think we need to maybe just improve on this area in general. And you kind of see we're just getting a little bit bogged down with um, just trucks, just, you know, like really in, in general. So, uh, yeah, I, I bought some more time, but not 100% done just yet. So we'll still try to figure things out. Same with over here. Um, and yeah, I just kind of changed around some of the one-way roads again. But I'm just still kind of thinking maybe we're going to need to do something, um, yeah, drastic over here soon. But I think we're okay for the moment. Just on the back burner, just so we have it there. And um, you know what I want to do for this episode, guys? I think we're going through like a death wave or something, because our population is like really dropping. So just like super, super quick, I want to have just some stuff going in the background. So we'll just do a hint of building over here and then hop back over to the um, university area. So let's do just like like one more little box kind of kind of neighborhood over here. A little bit too far. I think we should actually scale this down. Curve that in. Excellent. Bada bing. Bada boom. Okay, great. It's already moving so fast with this. I just want to get this kind of just done with and uh, rolling in the background. I think maybe one more little street through here. There we go. Just in an effort to maximize the zoning squares. And I'll keep this low density just so it doesn't look too um, too dramatic, the, uh, the height difference. Going from like, you know, buildings to nothing. But I have a really cool idea actually in mind for the um, for the rails and just for, like for our transit over in the uh, university area. So I'm kind of excited to do that. And I think same idea. I might actually scale this back a bit. Get a little bit more zoning too. Yeah, I like that. Just keep the commercial theme over here going, just because of the noise. All right, rocking and rolling. That wasn't so bad. Water's already done. Services should be in, theoretically. Okay, cool. This kind of ends the city off a little bit more nicely, I think. All right, now for over here. Boy, oh boy, okay, let's just do some crazy stuff here. So I'm going to pause, and I just actually noticed... I started recording that this is just bonkers. So let's uh, let's fix this. And unfortunately, the bridge just goes on a little bit of an uphill the entire way. I just kind of noticed that too. So let's do the easy thing. Squash that down. Go from here back to there. Hopefully, there we go. That's a lot better. Um. Hmm. This could be better. Not quite. I like it. The um the waves are like I don't know what it is. The the terrain height under the water that we can't quite see. It's affecting our pillars here.
Yeah, there's something just throwing that middle one up. What if we go that just like one at a time? Yeah, I can see it's just going a little bit up there. I don't know what to do here. It's interesting. A little bit of terraforming. One in doubt, just terraform. Huh, how about that? I think I fixed it. Alright, so that's now a gentle downhill, which is perfect. Can we get lucky on the other side? Because we need um, both our regional and our internal train lines to uh, to cooperate over here. What is the difference in height? I don't mind this difference in height, because you'll kind of see what I have, uh, have in mind for this. And I mean, it could be a little bit complicated, but I, th I think it'll be pretty, pretty neat when it's all said and done. Okay, so I'm going like this. I'm gonna go underground with this one. This is our uh, regional train link. I'm gonna come out over here. Okay, this is where things get a little crazy. So I'm just envisioning this in my mind, so it might not actually work, but uh, I hope it will. And I want this to come out. I think I have to go one click more. There. Ideally about here. Change this back road, I believe, which is no problem. I'm just gonna have it more, maybe like a bridge or something over this part here. This goes perfect. We'll redo this side so everything's a little bit more symmetrical. But I wanna have a train station kind of like in line with this. And I wanna have it on a, um, a separate road just so we uh, don't get traffic and stuff. I'll bog down here. And then ideally too, I wanna to have it on a, uh, a secondary. Oh, actually, how are we gonna make this work with that road? Hmm. Okay, let's try this. I'm just gonna end up with a few bridges over here. Now, is that an issue? It is. Getting thrown curveballs here left and right. That's right, this game is I want to say easier, just so you can see why so many of the mods are, are around, right? So I gotta raise the rail by like, a, just like a little bit there to make that work. Oh, never mind. I take it back. Okay, so that's our boundary line. I'm gonna maybe come in at a little bit of a cleaner angle and I'm gonna make the split a little bit nicer too and I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna try something here in the end we may end up with a little bit too much train traffic which means we'll probably end up having to change things but I always want to try stuff out for fun okay so I don't mind that that's um, all crazy this is just for uh, for the squares Okay, so that's symmetrical. That lines up relatively nicely, all things considering. I don't think we need that anymore. Okay, now how are we going to make this connect in a way that doesn't look too too crazy here? Not sure what word I want to use, you know, but it's nothing that looks too. Too horrifyingly ugly, I guess. Because it's going to get, like I said, pretty busy pretty quickly. Just like both visually and with like actual trains. So I'm just going to be careful of our layout choices. A little bit nicer. Subject to change as well, but we'll see. I think what we could do to maybe limit traffic to a certain extent and make this look a little bit nicer is only allow trains to come in from this side instead of coming in from that side as well. Or if they are going to come in from that side, we'll have them link up through the bottom here instead of making this like a double, a double connection. Which means we got to link in through here. There it 
Now my only fear is that this might be a little bit kind of tight, just in terms of the uh, spacing. So we might have, like, a, it might hold maybe one train too long, or it might be a little bit short to hold a train, I should probably say. That's a better wording for that. So we could maybe run into traffic problems here, but I think we're going to be okay. And then I'm probably going to end up just maybe putting a whole bunch of trees and like that kind of stuff, you know? All right, now this, this is the part that's going to be a little bit tricky. Like, theoretically, there's nothing stopping us from doing this. We have to find a better way through where the um, tram goes. We can do this. And just we end up with a lot of crossings. But at the same time, I'm only going to be zoning houses here just for like kind of like campus living and some parks and stuff, right? So is it really that bad? I don't know, actually. Hmm. You know, let's, let's give it a try. What we could do to maybe help traffic is have this um, come at a bit of a different angle. Like, we'll end up with that even. <clears throat> yeah, that in itself is a lot cleaner. And then we make a pedestrian crossing over here, so that we don't have to worry about people having to walk the whole way across have our trams turn around and pick up people right over here, have a big open park area, and then what are we going to do for this back connection? Oh, okay. So what we can do for this... We'll put that in in a second. Yes, I did say I wanted a bridge. Oh boy. I know our squares aren't perfectly aligned here. There we go. Now, I won't be able to get a bridge with a wide road, but possibly if we scale this down. No, oh, there goes those plans. Now, hypothetically. Yes. Oh, yes. No, but you know what, though? Now we're not going to be able to get over top because of these, uh... There's just no way. Okay. I swear, every time I play this game, I learn that it has a funny sense of humor. Alright, just go one click further than you think you need. There we go. Now, whether that's even or not, I'm just going to keep it. Just because of the rate that, you know, that we're moving here. All things considering, not too bad. And again, our trams will turn around through here. This will be zoned a little bit differently. And that would look like it still works for the parking lot. We can even do something like this and then add one of our own parking lots. Oh, I quite like that. Pedestrian pathway cutting across too. Oh yes. That's very nice. I'm just gonna un like remove the power lines. And then there's one pylon. I don't I don't like that at all. Temporary, but a better looking temporary than uh, what we had before. And I'll just do a little bit of zoning and then, like, kind of spread that way. Okay. Now, like I was saying, this is going to be mostly just zoned for um, uh, people in parks. So let's just put a few parks in now, just so we can kind of visualize a few things here. Too big for those. Oh, I thought I saw that word. Yes. Try and get a little bit of symmetry whenever possible. And the other main thing I'm going for with this area is I really want it to be like a lower density feel. I want like, you know, maybe the university to be like one of the tallest buildings, basically. That's kind of cool. I like this already. Okay, so just so we don't forget about this. Now what I want is um, 
the other train station. Oh, let's make that another line. Another line? I think we're off by one. That's better. Okay, um, I want this for the uh, internal line now. Oh, the other thing I meant to uh, point out is I changed um, uh, this off camera. So the bridge has a little bit more spacing and then uh, both sides are kind of even now. This one looks a little bit more dramatic because I cut out part of the uh, terrain just below. Okay, now that links up there. A little sharp. I find that if you do maybe too sharp of a crossing, or a bend, sorry. The uh, the trains they look like they're kind of leaving the tracks a little bit. So if you're going for that like maximum realism look, you gotta kind of be aware of that. Now there's nothing stopping us from having the train end right here, because you know we're not really going. Like there's no city back here, right? This is kind of cool. Okay, so let's go to our train lines. So we have our blue line here, right? Let's extend that. So I want to add a stop. I also want to move one. Oh gosh, how are we going to do this? I wonder if I can click and drag over to here. I cannot find that. Hmm. I'm on the wrong side. It's silly, of course. I think that was the right way to do it, though. If, of course, I go into the, uh, the proper side. So we'll click and drag again. Go to the right train station this time. And there we go. Now, I'm hoping to see... Oh, but you know what, though? We have to add one more stop along the way. There we go. So we got one on one side of the track, one on the other. Excellent. So if I press play now, theoretically, the blue train should start uh, making their way down here. And if we do a little bit of commercial zoning. There we go. See, so we'll have people moving in. And then we'll see some trains, and then we'll get some power going. Oh, fantastic. Let's get some uh, emergency services. Let's keep it on one speed, no need to, to motor through this. Knock on his zone right there. This is just like, you know, housing for students basically. The only thing is it's gonna be pretty darn noisy with the trains coming through, so maybe this little part here could be like buildings or something to kind of block the sound. Like, even though there's no need per se for it, because it's a university campus, I'm still going to put this building here, because we have people living here. And it just looks like it's kind of like, you know, an education-style building. Just because we don't have too many, uh, too many custom assets, you know? So I'm going to do a gap of two units, just so it kind of matches the other side. Is that? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's do something a little bit different here. There you go. Yeah, I like that. Because again, I'm going for that like open kind of look. No, that's too big. Slightly too big for those. It'd be nice to have like a little back road or something. Okay, so let's figure out uh, what we're doing with the trams before we get too carried away with the parking lots for that. And let me just drop down another building. Just so we can get some power moving. Um, medical. Is 
that enough? What? Goodness gracious me. That should do it. It's this game, it just doesn't like me. Come on, connect. All right, fine, you win. Okay, area is power, area is water, double checking that. Some services here now, we are rocking and rolling. Okay, so trams next on the docket. And so in a perfect world, we just have the trams come in, um, pick up people, make a little bit of a U-turn. Maybe we'll have a spot for, say, two or three trams to turn around. I don't want to take up too much space. Is it long enough for a tram? I think so. How big are trams? Let's go find one really quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. More than enough room. My goodness. So, yeah, trams that come in. Um, we need our pedestrian crossing, so let's maybe make that kind of happen in a U-shape through here. Okay, so we're connected to the parking lot, connected over here. Oh, beautiful. Just that's so not too steep. I like that kind of staggered. Oh, this is great. And then we'll have one of these go across like that. Excellent. And this will be a great spot for some trees and, and everything. Darn it. These tunnels, I mean, it's just like, unfortunately, it's the way the game is written, but they kind of like occupy the same kind of, you know, ruling air height zones as the, um, the bridges. So we just can't have stuff over, over top of them. I was hoping to maybe sneak one more arm through here, but unfortunately not. Still cool, though. Okay, so this area is filling in nicely. I'm actually curious to see how this turned out. Hey, look at that. Nice little stretch of houses. And I just think that, like, you know, when you're looking at the city, it's just a little bit cleaner looking now. And um, it's just not as dramatic. It's a little bit more tapered, the, um, the density kind of going down. It's actually turned out to be quite the high-density area. That's a few little pockets of those. But no, our city, I mean, we're at a little bit of a standstill right now in terms of um, in terms of growth, because our population's kind of going a little bit of a circle, and you know, no one's really going anywhere. That's okay, though. Okay, so trams are in place. Um, let's maybe stretch a couple lines through here. We'll keep this side open, because I do want to zone a whole bunch of people through here. I want to bring this up and eventually connect that in with the trams. Maybe we can do that now and have a... Um, a tram line that goes up through this road and we can put some stops on it now which I know is a little bit premature but uh, just kind of motivates us to uh, to fill that area quickly and as I say we'll leave that as long as it looks good it looks terrible so let's redo that I think it's crooked oh my goodness Uh, I think that can still be a bit taller. Here we go. Okay, great. Um, I think I'm gonna actually terraform away some of this, just so it looks cleaner overall. Yep, I like that, and that should be a nicer transition. It is indeed. Now, I want to see what this looks like, just going uh, straight on in. I don't think it's going to happen, just because of the train uh, yeah, the train tracks. But you never know. Where am I going? Where am I here? And of course, the irony is these are right here the whole time, too. Oh, okay, never mind. 
This does give us the option, but you know what though? I think I would probably switch to a non, um, like non rails. Probably switch over like that. We'll just keep that as a temporary little holding holding spot. Well, that's cool. I like that. And then not that we're going to, but theoretically we could also do something like this as a way. Oh, actually, that's kind of cool as a way into the neighborhood. But then that's silly. Oh no! Look how crazy that is. Darn it, you silly height difference. Now, can we fix that? We can probably fix that. Because I honestly, I don't know what it is. I just love level crossings in this game. I think they're so cool. Let's smooth this out. So now this is all on a level playing field. And I'm just curious. We'll see what it looks like. You never know. We might like Mike, Mike, Mike. Why not? Cast lined up with that. Ooh, that's money. Oh, I love it. Okay. Because we're not going to rely solely on this as the way in, just to this neighborhood here. Just because, like, it'll be bogged down with traffic, but it'll be really cool, I think, just having this. And when it's all zoned, you know, just like trains going by, and I don't know, I love it. I don't know, like, my love affair with trains knows no limits. I know a few of you, like, really appreciate when I do this kind of stuff. And even this already, right? Look how cool this looks. So, like, the trains going through. too crazy okay so i still want to get um i think the last thing we're gonna do here because actually we're gonna run out of time at a quick pace i want to bring uh this in at a fork or something like that or go as a tunnel maybe sneak through here and then come across and the same idea tunnel again and i want to link up with this whole um uh, quadrant or you know what we could do even is just leave it like this and then not add to the uh, train traffic so that if you're a train you can't get into the um yeah, but then that makes no sense, right? That's a really cool junction. No, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> this is tough. I mean, theoretically, you could. You just got to go a super long way. Yeah, no, let's keep it like this, because it does cut back on, on train traffic. I don't know. Maybe you guys give me your thoughts. Do you think we need another um, train crossing in through here? Or that look a little bit chaotic? I don't really want to spoil the view, per se, for um, any future residents here. All right, well, let's put in one of our um, our new tram lines here. Start on that side. Let's have a stop. Let's have a stop over here. Cool. Now it'd be maybe more efficient to have a back road, or you know, a little tram area to get in this way. Because unfortunately we have to go down and then compete with the rest of this tram traffic to go in uh, in through here. And really I'd like to take advantage of, um, where do we have even an open bay? Uh, over there, eh? Hmm. Okay, one second. Let's just see what this looks like. I think this makes more sense already. And then we just sneak in through here and then occupy one of those. It's just, this is probably gonna be the last tram we can fit in through uh, through that spot. Okay, where do we leave off? There you are. So I'm just clicking on the old stop just to continue along with our um, with our route again. And so that's me. Oh, <laughs> I say that and yet it doesn't work. I'll just drag it, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't doing that before. That was really weird. Okay, um, you're supposed to be able to click on it and then it's supposed to continue. Do stops over here. And I don't think I'm going to do a stop in here. No, actually, that's not true. I will. Just so you're closer to the buses. And I'm just going to use this as our turnaround point and also pick up new passengers. I want people on. Oh, of course, that's a one way. I say, who designed this? But of course it was me, so I can't blame anybody. That's probably, I'd, I'd probably do that for a reason. All right, here we go. Okay, we got our, whoops, our red color. Perfect. Now, I'd like to drop down just maybe a few more parks and some administrative buildings. 
and then I, I think we're going to call it an episode. Still a lot to do here. I won't say a lot, but like, still, you know, there's stuff to do. A little bit too big, or do that. And of course, if you guys have suggestions for this area, like, totally feel free. Drop me a line, let me know what's up. Plus, you know me, I just like chat with you guys anyway. And I want to make more of an effort to just beautify um, some areas as well. So we've done something like this before in the city, so I'm going to do that again. Kind of matches the trees that are in the uh, university campus right there. Probably do a wall of trees over here too. Looks a little bit nicer than just having nothing, you know? I think it acts as a little bit of a sound barrier, too. Oh, yeah, I like that. Now, I wonder if there's any unique buildings we can use. I definitely would actually like to get a, 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 like a campus or like a sports arena over here. But we can use like something like one of these buildings here, like Robotics Institute, as like one of our custom... Oh, yeah. Cool. And this could be like one of our like research wings on uh, on the campus. Oh, even back like that. Oh, that's neat. And it lines up with this. Oh, I love that. Oh, can we go over one so it lines up with the whole team? Probably not, because that would be too cool, right? Darn, yeah, but not going to work. Okay, well, uh, just for the sake of the symmetry, I'm not going to keep that as it is, but maybe we can line it up with, um, say, like that. That street. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But yeah, we'll use a little bit more of these buildings. Um, we'll figure out some more... Um, some more parks and stuff. But you know, I've got like a whole whack of stuff that we could use, right? And some of these buildings here, like these ones specifically, they come with the um, high-tech pack. I think it's like $5 or something. And these ones here, they're just created by um, like popular people in the Steam Workshop. And uh, Colossal Order, the people that make the game, they've contacted them, they've asked them to make some you know content for them to put onto their like separate part of the workshop, so that when you buy it, the author gets a little bit of the um, the money, so it kind of helps support them. Kind of their way of saying, like, you know, thanks for making so many other assets and stuff. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. So it helps support, right? Anyway, guys, I think we're going to uh, end things off here. I mean, we got a lot done, and not a lot done, just kind of like the general theme of our episodes. But I do kind of like this, even though there's not really much to it. Just adds a little bit more character to the city. Definitely digging this. Coming along quite nicely. And let's put it on three speed. And let's see if we can get some trams kind of maybe in one of our shots here as we uh, as we say goodbye. Yep, here they come. Awesome sauce. All right, guys. Well, I will see you in the next one. Definitely let me know your thoughts. And um, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a um, uh, a full full day of streaming on May 18th when uh, Mass Transit comes out. And I'll be doing a multi-stream with um, Azili. And um, that'll be kind of fun. We're going to be building um, the, a different city, but we're going to each start on the same map, so it'll look like crazy different. So it'll be kind of fun, I think. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. And I'm also going to be starting a new Let's Play, and I'll be using a whole bunch of mods and that kind of stuff. So if you really want to see just like a massive, massive city with like literally no boundaries type thing, like I'll be using 81 tiles and we'll kind of use like an entire maps uh, stretch. That's That'll be kind of fun. So stay tuned for that too. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Adios. All the best. Take care.